Uh, Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but I'll it's take also that. a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. One Omaha. One Omaha. Throwing oh, bad, 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 bad. One that's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he will take this all the way down to the 38 yard line. I made a quick read and it was the wrong one. Fuck. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job. Finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. They find some open field here. And he's going to get That's right, you got a guy who can run. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Carry now for Kareem Hunt, and he stopped immediately there. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is, and really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back. A yeah, no, running's run game because difficult this you know year. Those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Sets up a first and goal. Pulled away to go cover that back slant. He's multi talented and so versatile. Had a clear high eight touchdowns last year. Alex Smith at the helm. The drive. Mahomes has a reputation of being a gunslinger. If he can focus on number 87, Travis Kelsey in the red zone, he's going to do just fine. Butker now to kick this one away.
This will be taken in at the one. Go, 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 go. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Second down, here's Garoppolo. Buying Shit. time to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. They're able to find Garcon. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans he used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans you, know, you get up in your 30s you're still playing receiver but you're around that long at that position you're doing something right just remember this when he was young he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore now he understands a little bit better this to the 32 maybe the 31 and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle it's a six yard pickup and it gets him to second and four to the 34-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Second quarter now. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the 49ers in control of the football. They're on the march, but facing a third down here.
A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Oh, go, 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 go. Yes. Here. That's complete. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. And they get 14 yards there at a first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for the offense. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A 5-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. From the gun. Oh shit! And he just throws this one away. Oh, decision here fuck. close to the end zone, and you it got up in there. I hope I don't sound too rah rah on that one, but that's the exact God right throw. Damn. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. 21, 21. To throw is oh. Garoppolo. Oh. Into pressure right. His pass caught at the four. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Pierre Garçon, his second touchdown on the season. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So we're right Damn, you've been getting in with that D-line. As the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 up to the 28-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. Ali. He'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down, here's Mahomes. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Green, 90. Play fake there to Hunt. Now yes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Malcolm Smith. Drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. He'll field this at the five. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought I could juke you out there. 
Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams. What's up, K okay, Matt? Defense. I see you there. They got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Just shy of the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Throw. A dump down to McKinnon. Ah. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag ah, on God the field. It. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. So following the hold... They're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Hey, John, John. Well, wait, 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 wait. Hey, go, go. Six, six. Wait, wait, wait. Garoppolo. There we go. Get it, get it, get it. Yes. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A big play there for the Niners. 45 yards. And NFL update. They're in the second quarter in Baltimore. And the Ravens have opened it up a bit, leading by a couple of scores. That'll be a game to monitor as we go along. She could have got it out ahead of him a little so bit more. First and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 25-yard line. Shit. Oh, bad throw. I wasn't even looking at my receiver. I just assumed he was going to be open. <laughs> yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Go, 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 go. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And just in general, Charles, <laughs> on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. 
They go play action here on first down. This will be Get it. Oh my god. So a minute 56 to play in this first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They come up in an offset eye. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Uh, over the middle, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver. The rush made me throw Goodwin. faster than I wanted to. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first. The rush time. made me throw faster than I wanted to. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo, escaping the pressure. Uh -huh. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line, Chris Jones. Let's stand. To get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. And Gold is able to put it through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. They had it first and goal, three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right, it sounds a little counterintuitive, but you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? It's always Let's been kind of weak. That's like something I need to work the on. Expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Oh, the shit. The sticks because then the defense has the advantage. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. This is Hunt. Ooh. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. I think you're actually going to run it. The pick up there as that extends this drive. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, I couldn't afford another go, quick now. drive and out. Mahomes now on first down. Oh, yes! That's going all the way. Oh, no, I guess it's not. Picked off by Kwan Williams. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. 
He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. Oh! He's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And his guys have got it back. Gave it right back. God damn it. Half. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Room to run past midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. So we have reached halftime here. With I a can't believe I gave that pick right back time. to you. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's the 49ers out in front. And they I think that's my first multi-pick game on the season so far. In the second half. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third <laughs> quarter. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my oh, favorite yeah. subjects. Tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments, so guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he's brought down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Garoppolo on first and ten. Forced out to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. There's Garoppolo to throw. Being chased out left. 
The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. The Niners on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. They need just a yard here, it's third and one. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. A dump down to McKenna. Go, 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 go. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And yes! the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Marquise Goodwin, his first touchdown of the new season. And the 49ers add six to their lead. Gold with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gold now out to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they will, whatever Trump. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. Watkins, the intended receiver. When we talk about the best corners in the league, we're I'll usually saying shut down corners. Guys, you can't complete passes against. I hate him, Richard but Sherman I'll take it. that definition to a T. The best part of his game, no wasted moves. He studies the opponent so well, hard, hard, hard to get a pass on Richard Sherman. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Oh, go, go! Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They run once more with McKenna. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. The Niners on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and three. They run it with McKinnon. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Jarek McKinnon, his second touchdown on the season. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gold I don't know how I feel about the fact away. that Richard Sherman has, like, been a big factor for me so far this year. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 hey, 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 at hey, their 25-yard hey, 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 hey. line. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Flushed out right. Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Oh my God! Scramble. It's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. On the run, this is Hunt, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tackle that time by Jarquiski Tart. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He is going to find Hill here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. total from a week ago remember Charles he had three last week and you know all week long he vowed to take that number down told the guys on the team don't worry things are gonna pick up I've got this but he is in a major league rut right now let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way you're right he talked about being cool calm collective rebounding not rebounding right here 21, 21. oh fuck that 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 oh shit That should not have happened. He takes it all the way to the two. 23 yards on the play. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. Yeah, he did. They'll try to run with Breida. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Goal with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gold now out to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those that, changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I, I didn't hear what you said. It's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is... <laughs> Just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find. That his pass is intercepted. No. Nope. Did you throw that away? Picked off at about the 31. That was an actual throwaway. Pretty gingerly down there. We'll step aside. That old, and that's up weird. I don't think I've ever seen a pick on that before in my life. Garoppolo 
Garoppolo on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. Do you do run commit on defense? Because I feel like your safeties keep dropping down. Turnover on defense leads to six points. Okay. Gold to add the extra point. Because Goodwin was like my last read on that play, and then I saw your safety drop back. I was like, oh, well, I, I got it then. Gold now out to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. And then maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got to just pin their ears back and get after him now. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Green, green, 90. Green, 90. We're back now in KC. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. And might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. First down, Mahomes. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good <laughs> right. about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Mahomes will try again on second down. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Earl Mitchell breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. It's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. He'll leave it for Hunt complete. Breaks the tackle now with and he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Ah, damn. 
And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. This ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But you know, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is, and I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday, ah. which was also impressive. Also very yeah. impressive. But this game, how they've done it, offense, defense, special teams, they put it all together. And I got to tell you, I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. Take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves them with third and just a couple. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here's McKinnon, and an alley to run. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Now it's the Florida Atlantic alone. This is Alfred Morris. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. McKinnon. Oh, shit. How did he get in there? He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Niners on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. Here it's third and two. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the oh. ball. Possession is nine-tenths oh, of the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Oh, fuck. Well, that looked for a second. Uh. He might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. now on first down and this is caught by Watkins and he's brought down and 11 yard right pickup and it's enough for a Chiefs first down offense for them has been at a premium you wonder where plays like that have been all game long they're thinking the exact same thing themselves but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week trying to get some momentum going time for a break Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. On 
First and ten. Here's Mahomes. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. They'll run it now, out of the gun. So we got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot. I'm surprised you didn't try to go deep to Tyreek Hill more. And now it's third down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He's going to let it fly. Oh, That's my God. Point, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And my goodness, another interception. Ruben Foster picks it. And the return just okay. across the 15 to the 16. I'm surprised he didn't try to go deep more to Tyreek Hill. Interception, and I just had to double check my math. <laughs> but it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used a calculator. I didn't worry about <laughs> double checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot. They're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And it's fielded at the 34. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball. I thought he was going to get that again. Second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Mahomes to the former Ram Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. Throwing now is Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And now here comes their final timeout. As they take it with eight ticks remaining. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size, can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Now a desperation throw. And now here is another interception. Picked off down near the five. All right, good game, man. we can do this only people who believe are right here in this room and then you go on the road band together and get it done 
So for the 49ers, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And another road date awaits them next week as their opponents will be the Los Angeles Chargers. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Alright everyone, well thank you for tuning in on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, until next time, uh, my next game will be against the San Diego Chargers. So until next time, this is Execution Double Nine with Omaha X1. Thank you for tuning in.